हे वॉट्सअप गाईज दिस इज सोहन अँड यू आर वॉचिंग युअर टेक्निकल स्पार्क चॅनल फ्रेंड्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ इन अवर सिमेंटेक एंड पॉईंट प्रोटेक्शन मॅनेजर सिरीज टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू विथ द अवर सपोर्ट पोर्टल अवर यू कॅन से सिमेंटेक और ब्रॉडकॉन सपोर्ट पोर्टल अँड अंडरस्टँडिंग ऑफ दिस सपोर्ट पोर्टल इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट बिकॉज बिफोर यू प्रोसेड विथ द इन्स्टॉलेशन द सॉफ्टवेअर विच यू रिक्वायर्ड टू डाउनलोड दॅट कॅन ओनली बी डाउनलोड आफ्टर लॉगिंग इन टू दिस सपोर्ट पोर्टल and i'll also explain how exactly you can raise cases with a support team as well as the documentation so without wasting time let's go to the support portal after this small intro video hey let me open uh, our browser and once the browser is open you simply have to search broadcom support portal click on the very first link home support portal and here you go uh, you'll just have to click on login now let me close this first window okay enter your username here and if in case you are going to log in again 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 then click on remember me so let me click on next it will authenticate whether our email id is correct or wrong and once it's authenticated you can see it has navigated me to the broadcom portal the reason because it's redirect because broadcom has you know acquired multiple products that's the reason it's checking the authenticity and once everything is done again click on next and in the next screen we have to enter the password so let me enter that and simply click on sign in okay and now it will send code to our mobile number so let me click on send code 6823333 and once you enter the code you simply have to click on verify and it will check the authenticity and allow you to log in into the support portal okay so successfully we have logged in once you logged in then you will see here okay uh, the right now we are into the cyber security software okay so based on for which purpose you are logging in you will see your appropriate segment here okay and here it will show you your uh, profile request access notification settings and other stuff so we'll not go into this particular things because this is pretty much easy and here you will find your name now under the dashboard okay the first thing is how many times you have downloaded the software your active uh, contracts service status and lots of things will be shown here like uh, what is trending right now which is latest one knowledge base articles so many things are you know guys you will be able to see in this particular dashboard screen itself okay now let me go to the top and here we have to go to the my entertainments because this is where you will see all your licensed product okay and basically okay so this is where in the site name you will see your company name for which you have license site id so let me just expand this and you will see i have license for the endpoint protection okay now if you want to uh, view the product details then you can click on this particular tab it will show you the couple of documentation but i am more interested into this entitlement details so simply click on that and let me just scroll down and here you will find all your active serial numbers of you know active licenses okay so these three licenses are active this is serial number if you would like to read the contract details then you can simply click on the, uh, this particular uh, page icon if you would like to download the software then yeah you can simply click on this download button and if you required license then for license you will have to click on this particular icon okay and by any chance if you would like to know by when your license is going to be expired then you can navigate your uh, mouse to this particular i button and you will you uh, be able to see the date okay by when your license is getting expired uh, for downloading the license or creating case okay you simply have to click on this particular cases now let me click on a license and it's you know open uh, open another tab where you will see all the information related to your account company name serial number address other stuff okay as well as license start date end date license you know a uh, sq type uh, for what per, uh, what is the license uh, type you have okay now let me just scroll down and once you click on this particular you know download button then this particular license key which is slf file will get downloaded So now let me close this and uh, right now I already have the license so I'm not going to download it again. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this particular part has been clear. Now we'll go to the my downloads because you would be required to download the setup file, right? So the best place to download the setup file is from the my download. Simply click on 
end burn protection so if in case in your screen you, if you are seeing multiple products so out of which you will have to select endpoint protection because this is what applicable for cementec endpoint protection manager and wait for this particular console to get loaded okay again you will have to click on endpoint protection so let me click on this arrow and here are the list of available versions so 14.0 uh, is the base version after that we have got couple of release so see are you 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 is the latest version so just for the demonstration and technical uh, walkthrough of this particular you know product um, because i'm going to demonstrate installation and configuration everything so i have downloaded total two versions one is 14.3.8 and 14.3.9 so initially we'll install 14.3.8 and then we'll install 14.3.9 so that how exactly we upgrade our application those things will be uh, we will be able to cover in videos okay so uh, what are the things inside uh, you know available inside this setup file let me show you that as well let me scroll down so as you could see this is 14.3 ru9 which is the latest version available right now okay and these are the four setup files which is available inside this so in first particular you know uh, zip file it only contains all types of client client means your agent and this is the you know complete installer so this particular setup has everything which is you know required for your acpm server if in case if you don't want to download individually like all clients or just you know acpm setup or just a mac client okay so instead of that you can also prepare to download this setup file okay which has everything in it and if you want to you know keep all the things separated then you can download one two three but for this demolition and a further you know elaboration i have downloaded all the things so whatever the things you would like to download you can click on those options and then download selected okay and after that it will get downloaded but remember the major thing is this acpm setup and then as per if you have mac uh, and uh, clients available in your environment you can download this mac setup file as well otherwise only this particular things are enough one is this all clients and second is your sapm setup okay or else you can download this entire setup file which includes everything so hopefully this thing is clear now let's go to the my cases so if you are if you having direct support from the cementec then yeah you will be redirected to the support portal uh, i mean you will be staying in the same console if you have valid cementec support but if in case if you are taking uh, support from one of the you know support agencies via broadcom then you will be redirected to their portal so right now i am in india so as you could see this particular page has been redirected to the mtech pro okay so the support will be provided by mtech for you know the account through which i have logged in right now because in india majority of the support is provided by mtech itself and in the screen here you will see your account section and then if you have any uh, cases ongoing then you will be able to view all the cases in this particular my cases section with a status like my open cases or all cases if you have any previously raised any case then you will be able to see those details then if you could uh, then even case if you would like to create fresh or raise uh, you know fresh ticket then you can click on create ticket fill the details and submit so that ticket will get automatically created now let me close this under trials and beta here you will you know view, uh, be able to see lots of products okay uh, which you can take a trials okay so there's so many products available you can see that we have total 15 of pages and each pages have almost you know 15 to uh, 18 uh, products available which you can use for 90 days free of cost this is a documented section again as per your requirement you can down view and download the documents which you required now let me close this again security advisory here you will be able to see you know a lot couple of important updates all products here we don't have much things because whatever the things which you are, we are licensed we will be able to see in my downloads as well as my entitlement then contact support so these are the basically how exactly you can reach out to broadcom so this is a high level or you can say low level introduction of our support portal that how exactly you can download the license how exactly you will be able to download the software so make sure before we proceed with the installation you have this particular portal access so that you will be able to download the license as well as your 
application just note guys that uh, without this portal you will not be able to download the software from any other sources which is available over the internet okay because if you guys remember previously before you know broadcom acquire cementec we were able to download this this particular softwares using filecannect.cementec.com okay where we just simply have to enter our license serial number and we were able to download the software but after you know broadcom has acquired cementec the everything is got changed we have you know emfa multi factor authentication to this portal then again lots of security so you know in terms of overall everything is you know very much improved but yeah the protection remains same there is no compromise on the protection because cementec is always been a very strong product from the beginning so that's it guys i hope you guys all have found this video useful if so please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe click on the bell icon so that you won't uh, you know miss my future video notification and this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video and in next video we will probably see how exactly we can install scpm software on the server so thanks for watching bye bye